everyone, we the group one will be the reporter in this video presentation. So we just advise you to watch, listen, and learn. What we are waiting for, let's get started. Our topic is qualities of good test instrument. The validity, reliability, objectivity and practicality as you can visual in the screen is the content of our report starting from introduction the learning outcomes because at the end of this presentation you may explain the four qualities of good test instrument second one is to discuss the qualities of good test instrument under the principle of high quality assessment and the third one is to differentiate the different qualities in test instrument this is the learning content is cited here on how its significance and contributes the qualities of good test instrument. Before we proceed to the next slide, we also advise you to jot down the important information because we will having a quiz at the end of the discussion. And now, let's move on in defining qualities of good test instrument. Qualities of good test instrument is the development of tests of any kind always requires the careful consideration of the qualities of good measuring instruments, particularly for any test to be effectively developed. It should carry the qualities of good tests. Validity Under the principle of high quality assessment, validity describes that assessment should be valid. There are types of ability that are to be established. Content validity, phase validity, congruent validity, predictive validity, discriminant validity, and the construct validity. In addition, validity the extent to which the test used really measures what it is intended to measure. No outside factors should be allowed to interfere with the manner in which the evaluation is carried out. For instance, in measuring the ability to synthesize, other factors such as style should not compete with the element to be measured, so that what is finally measured is style rather than the ability to synthesize. The ability of measuring instrument refers to has to do with its soundness. What the rest of questionnaires measure its effectiveness. How it is could be applied. Example of validity number one. A test of intelligence should measure intelligence and not something else, such as a memory. It's only the primary intended to measure. Number two, for example, if a test is designed to survey arithmetic skills at a third grade level, content validity indicates how well it represents the range of arithmetic operation possible at that level. Purpose of validity. It is extent to which a test measures what it claims to measure. It is vital for a test to be valid in order for the results to be accurately applied and interpreted. Determines what survey questions to use and helps ensure that researchers are using questions that truly measure that issues of importance. Next to validity is that reliability. In principle of high quality assessment, assessment should show consistent and stable results. And in reliability, there are methods can be used to measure and establish what we call reliability. A measure is considered reliable if a person's scores on the same test given twice is similar. It is important to remember reliability is not measured, it is estimated. A good instrument will produce consistent scores. An instrument reliability is estimated using a correlation coefficients of one type or another. Examples of reliability Number 1. A child's thermometer would be very reliable as a measurement tool, while a personality test would have less reliability. Number 2. A test is considered reliable if we get the same result repeatedly. For example, if a test is designed to measure a trait such as the introversion, then each time the test is administered to a subject, the result should be approximately the same. 
Rosemary de Bazag speaking right now and we proceed to the objectivity. It refers to the degree to which personal judgment is eliminated in the scoring of the test. Therefore, objective in the test records that the personal opinion of the teacher does not affect the scores of an individual student. The test should be such that different teachers can similarly score the test and arrive at the same score. In other words, the more objective the test, the greater it is reliability. So why is this objective it is important? So objective is an important characteristic of a good test. It affects both validity and reliability of test scores. In otherwise, the items of the test must call for definite single answer. If well constructed the test items, that only one interpretation or answers. So if the test items are engaging dual meaning sentences, items having more than one correct answer should not include them in the test as it makes the test more subjective because objective is the opposite of subjective where in subjective opinion are given subjective also it is focuses more on opinion and the objective test focuses on the facts so in here objectivity pertains what is the facts so objectivity test ito ay isang pagkusulit na ginagamit ng iisang interpretasyon o iisang sagot sa isang pagkusulit marahil ang objectivity test ay nangangahulugang isang factual na pagsasagot sa isang pagsusulit na nakabase lamang ang sagot sa textbook o libro datapwat kung ang pagsasagot ay isang essay or reflection or opinion ito ay hindi na objectivity test kundi isa na itong subjectivity test kasi ang pagsasagot ay base sa sariling opinion so what is the advantage of objective test in terms of marking so this method can sample a wide range of knowledge and memory quickly and has the potential for measuring understanding analysis problem solving skills and evaluative skills objective test is quick to mark and provide a quantifiable and concrete result just like example through all false items based on a text can be used in an objective test what is the purpose of objectivity the purpose of objectivity is useful to check that learners are coming to terms with the basic of the subject in order that they have a firm foundation and knowledge. They are useful because can test a wide sample of the curriculum in a short time, can be marked easily, technology can assist with this. Assessments that are considered objective have the right and wrong answer that will be evaluated in the same way for every person assist. Multiple choice questions, true or items, or matching activities are categorized as objective. We are now at the last part of qualities of good test instrument, which is the practicality. Practicality means that the test is easy to design, easy to administer, and easy to score. No matter how valid or reliable a test is, it has to be practical to make and to take. This means that it is economical to deliver. It should be feasible and usable. Quality of being usable in content to the objective to be achieved. Practicality and efficiency in principles of high quality assessments define that it should save time, money, and others. It should be resourceful. Example of practicality, time required. Multiple choice tests take a long time to prepare but a relatively short time for students to complete and for teachers to score. Essay tests take less time to prepare but longer time to score. Creating all instructional materials to save money. And for the purpose of practicality, its relevance to the overall learning goals in the course. It also addresses whether or not the workload for the instructor is reasonable. Factors that affect practicality and efficiency include teacher familiarity with the method, time required complexity of administration, and ease of in scoring and interpretation. We also prepare here some quiz to be answered to analyze the learning outcomes on what you have learned about the qualities of good instrument and to determine the particular test instrument which is the validity, reliability, objectivity, and practicality. To 
there are three files of quiz. In quiz 1, entitled Where I Belong, which is identifying the situation, even this validity, reliability, objectivity, and practicality. In quiz 2, entitled Name Me, to give the answer or exact word of what is being asked. And for the quiz 3, MC and CM. This quiz name as MC and CM that either multiple choice or complete me to complete the sentence.